Hey guys, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch. Um, it's another chore day. We've got uh, pen A's, time to get it in order and clean stuff up. So stay with us and come along. <laughs> We've officially gotten the tank off the trailer, drained it out as much as we can. It's now going to sit here. We're going to get the trailer and move it away because we've got other things to pick up. In the meantime, we got to clear all this stuff out, and Charlotte's wrapping this thing up real tight. We have probably, what would you say, how much feet? Probably about a thousand feet of black hose. Blue or hose? blue hose? 600 feet. We just 600? Two, I think you had two 300 foot hoses. Okay, so just 600? Gosh, I thought there'd be more than that. Anyway, in the different sections, they might be 200 foot each. Anyway, we got a pallet. It's easier to carry that. That's going to be our irrigation pump pallet, I guess. I don't know. You can never have too many pallets, guys. It makes it real easy to transport around because we've got a tract with forks. But in the meantime, we got this one. This one's going to be on top of it as well. One more. And one more. You can see it hanging out right up in here somewhere if you can see that. Now we gotta get all that under there. All right, so Mari's been back here starting it. Look at that. Good job. And here's the mess. <laughs> <laughs> we still have to deal with so we're going to pull this out it. and get it going on the pallet. We were wondering which of these blue hoses is longer. We've stretched this guy out and we're going to have to say the second one we've got is longer than the first one, which means he's got to lose his space so that guy can be at the bottom I have a question. and the pump needs to get out of the way. We're going to get it done though. Matter of tightening this in there and packing it as good as we can until we need to use it again. Hopefully not for a long time. Uh -huh. Alright, got that bottom one done, right? Alright, now we need to get this guy on top. Now that we've had some lunch, the cool breeze had come for a little while, the kids were playing in the trees, climbing, hitting each other like swords and battles and throwing logs. So it's been great to do that. Anyway, back to the point of what we're here to do. This pen, pen A, B, and C, as you know, are going to be for our calves. And I think I'm changing that. We were going to have the bull's pen be over there, and we typically might have a lot more calves than bulls. And that two and a half acres is about the size of what this combined is almost. So I might actually swap them. So here we only need one water trough and we're gonna put the water trough in with the feed troughs. And so we're just gonna clean this out, make it more bull centric as opposed to yearling centric. So it's all about being adaptable. Um, when we run then the water lines here, we only need one trough, one water line and can go down further instead of three. So we're saving trough numbers as well. So just trying to be efficient with some stuff like we all have to be. So anyway, let's get this moved. We're gonna get the forks in the dirt and try and get it on one of these pallets to make it easier to transport around. And um, we'll, well, I hopefully it'll go well. I don't know, maybe it won't.
course of those troughs, some of them we were able to use. We had gotten that batch of six months ago, months and months ago. They were just stored there because. So they've been just sitting there for a long time. We're moving them out here. Okay, that is one manky beast. So we're gonna have to clean them out before we get using it. But otherwise we're gonna leave one left in there and we gotta move that last water trough. We're either gonna try and pick it up because it's on the asphalt. Might be hard to get up and underneath it, but we might be able to push it. We don't have to have it sticking out. It can be flush up like this. We just gotta get the bottom screw port out where that's at because there's a certain section over here that has asphalt and there's a certain section that doesn't and I want to kind of put it towards the section that doesn't. So this is where I'm going to have everything pop up right there. I need that on this side inside of that pen. So we may have to rotate this. I don't know if we can push it the whole way. I don't know if there's a time I can get under it. So we're going to play around with this and see how it goes. so close to the fence to stay off it so you can get around it. So I think we've got it set. So as you can kind of see how this is working, this is going to be for their cubes, for the dudes, the water trough over here. I'm afraid we're going to start overhanging because the, the spout's here, and then there's no support over here. So what we'll probably have to do is just lift this back up again and chisel out or do something to get like a groove where we get the pipe there. 
So we're gonna leave this guy here and then we'll put a feeder right about where the other guy is, where he used to be. So since there's only gonna be two, they'll be just fine. But yeah, so this will work for all three pens. So we only have to have one cube feed, one water trough and one hay spot. See, works perfect. a couple weeks since we were finishing out our chores here and we've got one more thing we're gonna finish up we've got everything out and set up how we want it down at the asphalt and there's a little bit of things starting to grow not a lot um, but there are little patches of growth which is great one of our friends had some extra hay um, just from like a couple cuttings ago so it's just kind of old and so we went over and we picked it up in the trailer and we don't quite think that it's what we're gonna feed the buffalo, but it is going to totally help us out in this pasture since we have like, just like a sand pit of death. We're gonna get it out so that way it can be kind of spread over and add some top matter, give us some more topsoil, get things growing um, up here on this three quarter acre pen A for what we had set up for the yearlings. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I went and got the tractor. Right now I've got forks on it. I'm going to see if I can kind of get under those bales and then kind of tip them or scoop them out however best I can. I'm going to have some kids with some rakes and pitchforks, but we'll kind of get this stuff cleared out so that way this pen can be done, chores done, not have to think about this for a little bit. Something I learned, forks, pop forks, probably not the best choice today for this project. Um, maybe the grapple would have been smart. Um, we did get the hay out just fine. I think breaking up the, the circular hay bales was actually more of my problem and that the forks really weren't made for that. which I knew, and I'm already really not great at spreading hay, if you would have seen down lower, it's not great. So really, I just tried to break them up a little bit as much as I could, um, and so Jeff hopefully can kind of fix my mistakes. <laughs> but they're not just sitting there in one big ball, they're sort of spread out. The kids would probably be out here more too, just spreading them out with the um, pitchfork and rakes and stuff, so that would help. But it's done, we have the material out here so we can start decomposing and adding good nutrients into this little spot. This pen's done.
one more thing off the checklist. Lots of other projects to get to, but it's always nice to have something kind of done for a little bit. So thanks for watching and don't forget to click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.